in this video I'm going to go over installing an external transformer to power up the thermostat. The reason we have an external or second transformer is that we do not have the proper wires that run back to our HVAC system to use the transformer that is currently powering that. That's why we call an external or second transformer. When you get it, it will look similar to this, which looks similar to your one for your cell phone, and it will be rated between 4 volts and 24 volts AC or DC. The first thing we do is basically cut the connector off if there's one on there and expose the two wires. Okay, the first thing we want to do so we can hide the wire behind the wall is we want to locate the hole that the current wires come out of. Once we locate that, we can remove the thermostat and we'll take a string or wire with a weight on it and drop it down the wall and when it gets to the bottom by the baseboard punch a small hole in the wall to retrieve this. Okay we don't have a baseboard on this wall but we've taken it and we've measured up where our baseboard would normally be which would be about an inch from the floor. You may have if you get too close to your floor there may be a 2 by 4 here that you don't want to go into. So if you don't have baseboard about an inch from the floor. So let's imagine a piece of baseboard right here and what we've done is we've dropped our, our string down behind the, the wall. I took a small piece of wire right here and I bent a little hook in the end of it. Okay now we're going to take the wire that has a little hook on it and we're going to put it in the wall. Now the hole doesn't have to be big enough to pull the nut or washer through because we just want some of the string or pole wire to come out. It just has to be big enough for the transformer wire. So I'm fishing around in there, I can feel it, and there I've pulled out the string, a little bit of the string right there. So I take that off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire and hook it through. And I'll take a little piece of tape here just to secure it. Don't have to use too much but you don't want it to come loose. And if you see right there, I got the, the, the power supply wire and I got the string that I dropped down from where the thermostat is. And now what I'm going to do is take and pull that string back through. You notice I didn't have to pull the weight out so the hole can be fairly small. And I'm pulling the wire up and now the, therm the power supply wire is going up to my thermostat. And pull it back up and it will come out right where the wires currently come out for your thermostat. Once you have the wires here for your thermostat, then you would simply take one of the two, doesn't matter which one, one will go to the C terminal, as in Charlie, we'll hook it up and we'll tighten the screw up. Okay, the second wire will be added to the RH terminal. You may already have a, a wire in the RH from your furnace. That is okay. It will just be added to it. It will not interfere with it. So you'll have one in the RH and one in the C. You can at that point go ahead and plug it into the wall and this will supply power to your thermostat. Okay, in order to show you how to run the wire along the molding, being that there was white molding that you couldn't see here that matched my wall, and I have a white wire, I decided to get a piece of dark wood molding and put up here. And when see the hole is just right on top of where the molding is, I'd simply run the wire along the molding, and white on white or whatever color you have, if you put a little paint on it, it's going to virtually disappear. Okay, another way of doing this is if you remove the molding from the wall, poke your hole, pull the wire through the hole, run the wire down the wall to where you're going to come up for your AC outlet, and then replace the molding, it virtually disappears. 